hop into this. So this is going to be round one, game one of the UK regional. We got Dean T on voiceless voice versus uh, Karan J on snake eye. I'm pretty sure I've seen this person before. At least their name seems familiar. Uh, I, I don't know Dean though. I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, also look at the sleeves, bro. Come on now. Come on now, bro. Is that a dragon made sleeve next to like an effect veiler looking sleeve? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. And they're playing voiceless. But Okay, so yeah, Karan's just popping off. Wanted, go ahead, search Black Witch, summon it by discarding. They're gonna go ahead and set uh they set wanted from deck okay uh, they could just be holding like veiler imperm for the snake eye ash that summoned off original and just let them have the wanted draw or i was gonna say could have also been ash blossom in the original but doesn't okay if we don't see a hand trap very soon okay ah uh, <laughs> That's ah, looking rough that's looking rough uh okay but we gotta see what build the opponent's still playing because not sure i guess they already went through like the original so it's good for the opponent that means like jet synchron and like ponix are like infinitely harder to get access to for those other engines uh you gotta put like ttt and then a number for the tic-tac-toe yeah like right now literally if you just go exclamation point ttt9 that's a dub on oh, god i was playing tic-tac-toe against myself last night through it but okay they're gonna go ahead oak send itself I don't even see what they brought out from deck. Oh, I guess Ash sent itself plus Oak. Go ahead, bring out Flame Burge. And then just use those, link off. And then we get Flame Burge, Poplar, Spawn Trap Zone, Flame Burge, summon back out two from the graveyard. Yeah, just bring out IP. It's crazy how good, like, I know this is, like, technically a two-card combo because it's Black Witch, but it's crazy how good, like, just one Snake Eye Ash is. Even if you have to, like, original into it. Like, you still just get, like, the IP set up. Which is just so good. So much follow up too. Said, yo, there's a world chalice deck. It was sick. Hey, don't, don't leak. Don't leak. Don't leak. Said, did you do the SP yet? Yeah, I did the SP giveaway. Uh, the person already claimed it. But it's not going to be shipped out until Monday. But uh, Wrist couldn't handle DC Cup. Nah, it's not even the wrists, to be honest. I mean, okay. <laughs> realistically realistically i wouldn't have been able to do the whole dc cup thing anyways just because like if my wrist even hurt a tiny bit i would have instantly dropped out of it so like if i was like 50 hours and knew it and then had to drop out of it that would have made me really mad but it was more of the fact that i hate master duel holy after playing on thursday i was like i woke up friday i played one game i literally won the game i was playing I'm pretty sure it's Exo versus Snake Eye. Yes, yeah, Exo versus Snake Eye. I won the game, but there was like three max C's that were dropped, and I was like, you know what? I don't even want to play this game. I hate this game. I hate the formats in Master Duel where they're all based around max C, which is like, I would say a little over half of them. Like some of the formats are like okay, like like Vanquish Soul format. Like, when that was, like, a really popular deck, like, Vanquish Soul could, like, you know, beat Maxi decently well. A lot of people didn't even know how to use it. They dropped it on your turn. But I really just don't like it in this current format, because right now it's just, like, no no deck has, like, a good enough plan B against Maxi. So that card really is just, like, did you open the out? Yes. Okay. Did you open it? No. Okay. I just hate that stuff. Just play all the outs. That's what I play. Yeah, I mean, I was playing the Ash, Called by Cross Out. Uh, my deck wasn't able to play Gamma, but I mean, I could have played like Pearly with Gamma in it too, I guess. But I don't know. I, 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 do, I do like Pearly. I do like Pearly. That deck does have more outs to max seed than other decks. But okay, they're just going to start off with Barrier to go search out Skull Guardian. And the opponent didn't do the very normal uh, Flame Burge in the IP and the SP against Barrier. That's what a lot of people tend to do whenever that card gets activated. Uh, I mean, like, they also have Appalooza. Barrier can search out Ritual Spell, too, and just, like, hard activate it. Uh, but now they're gonna go Queen Effect. Uh, they're gonna Appalooza that to stop them from getting a free search and dump. Yeah. Or maybe they're thinking about it right now? Okay, no, they're, they're yeah, okay, 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 okay. Uh, I have no idea how people play Master Duel with no cross out. I mean, some formats, it's not even correct. 
where you just need like infinite non-engine like hand traps, but it's, yeah, it's rough, it's rough. Okay, now activate, what? Don't they have, I thought they have ritual spell in hand. Okay, the Appaloosa stopped that, because I'm pretty sure Appaloosa was maybe three, so it still has 800 attack on it. I didn't think we'd want to like trade more into that. Um, but I guess I don't know their exact hand, right? Okay, but now activate Ritual Spell. Go ahead, Tribute, Special Summon Out. Okay, they're gonna chain Flame Burge to summon out IP in response to the Ritual Spell. So bring that out. And then, okay, so they have Rock, and it looks like another barrier in hand. Uh, tribute to Tierras, bring out Skull Guardian, and now Skull Guardian, new chain link to go ahead and search. And then they're just going to Appalooza, also stop that. Yeah, I mean, Appalooza actually got to negate like all three times, which is crazy. The second negate didn't matter like too, too much since they had Queen, like since they had Ritual Spell. But yeah, getting the trade that many times is broken. Uh, I made a lab player timeout. God, yes. I played some of stage two with Gamma and Virtual World that worked out okay. Yeah, Gamma, Gamma's pretty good in Master Duel. I don't know, I feel like, ah, uh, it sucks. Because I feel like this stage two specifically, a lot of the Snake Eye players that are playing the deck don't actually know how to play it correctly. And like, I don't know, you can, you can get so much value out of them messing up. It's crazy. Especially with there being like no SP in the format, no Fire Kings and stuff like that. But okay, they're gonna make SP and then, you know, they have SP, Flame Burge. So Flame Burge Chain Link 1, SP Chain Link 2. Uh, if we banish Skull Guardian, then they have Ritual Spell to go ahead and summon out another Skull Guardian. So I'm assuming that Voiceless said end of main there. And that's why we're gonna go ahead and do this now. So yeah, go ahead, try to banish Barrier and summon back they said okay uh also snake eyes only summon two they're only gonna summon four times so far unless if they oak summon back then that is five and then they could drop rock but that's not that's not gonna be enough it's definitely not gonna work especially if the last card in hand is actually barrier like i thought it was okay so they summon out oak poplar oak add back snake eye ash and then poplar goes search yeah this game is just over. Grab original. Agreed, I had a game where I played through Appaloosa Baron after I nibbed him. I timed out after you let my uh, Chinglong negate his Link Kariba, so I beat over Appaloosa. God, yes. God, yes. Wait. Okay, 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 okay. I don't know. That, that whole format's just wild. I'm not gonna lie. The format's wild. But now... So let's think, uh, we can't Sky Crisis because we get hit with Princess. The game's just over, yeah. Let's see, they're, they're just on nothing. Um, yeah, situations like that, I feel like you should actually scoop like two minutes earlier because they could have saved time. And a lot of people complain about losing the time, but like they don't, they don't scoop when the game's over. Like, there's just no shot they were ever winning that one there. Okay, going on to the next game now. Hi, Farfa. Hi, Tom. Okay, okay, game two now. It's still crazy to me that every single European regional gets streamed on this dumbass Cyber Dragon Infinity map. Why? Why? It's been like that since at least, like, 2017. It's just crazy. But okay, now we're going to go ahead and we get to see Voiceless go first. Uh, obviously, they have the advantage here. I can't see what their hand is exactly. I saw Tierra's. Oh, Tierra's, DD Crow, Spell, Spell, Monster. And the monster kind of looked like Fallen of Alabaz. If they opened up Tierra's plus Fallen of Alabaz, it's like mega unfortunate. Uh, oh, it wasn't Tierra's. It was low. Okay, so they're going to start with pre-prep. Oh, they got pre-prep plus low. Okay, that's that's nice. That's nice. They're gonna go search out Skull Guardian. Go search out the Ritual spell. I can see. I saw a Strike in their deck. I think I saw Summon Limit in their deck too. So they had you know some good amount of going first cards. Said no Konami support. I mean, you don't even need Konami support. Like, I don't know. Just let players use their own mats. 
I don't know. I, I hate playing on rubber mats. I'm not gonna lie. It actually hurts. It, it like it really does hurt. Cause like I put my like my fingertips like on like on into the mat pretty much. And when it's rubber, it's like ow. That uh, doesn't feel very good. Farfa looking slick. Yeah, far Farfa always looking slick. Oh god, yes. <laughs> okay, now they're gonna go low, skull guardian. Uh they're reading over low. Okay. Uh that's interesting that the opponent asked if low could summon itself out because if you've played against voiceless voice even just one time, like this is a, this is like one of the most common plays, right? Low summon itself back out from Graver whenever we ritual summon. Uh, players using their own mats, then you get <laughs> sus mats. Well, well, okay, 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 okay. To be fair, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair. Someone pulls up with like the sus mat, like the sussiest mat ever. Then you're just like, nope, you're not even allowed to use a mat. Get out of here. Game loss. Which is fair. I, I, wait, they didn't even summon low back out. Did they rule that you can't summon low? There's no shot. Yo, the, this is why I'm saying, bro, if you're at a tournament and the floor judge does not agree with your ruling, call a head judge 100% of the time. 100% of the time. I had one judge call at the regional that I went to last weekend and the judge did not rule with me and then another floor judge did not rule with me and then another judge was like, Hey, do you still want that head judge? I was like, yes. And then the head judge agreed with me. So I, I had multiple judges disagree with me and the head judge agreed with me and I won the game because of that. It's like, just call multiple judges, you know what I mean? Like, it's always okay to do so. It's always okay to do so. But this game just looks over now. They're just going Snake Eye Ash and the Poplar. Like, they lost so much off that. Holy. They lost access to Trap. They lost access to Sararvis. So they lose a pop, a Sir Arvis negate, and banish, and bounce back to hand, and they lose Skull Guardian negate. That's three interruptions we just lost because we decided to not call for head judge. That's crazy. <laughs> There's no way judge said you can't summon low. He must have forgot to activate it. No, no, no. They they 100% activated it because they went one, two, and then the opponent like looked at it, and then the judge even picked it up. So at 100% they activated it. Had to have been, had to have been, had to have been. Uh, what on earth happened here? Rule of thumb, know your own deck and dispute it. Yeah, I mean, you don't even have to know your own deck. Like, sometimes rulings aren't even like... They're not even like knowing your own cards, it feels like. It's almost like sometimes rulings are just like... Oh, looky here! Oh, we're fixing the game state! There's no shot. Hold on, what are they talking about? I did declare it, and uh, maybe we're gonna rewind to where the low should have been summoned. That's what I'm thinking is going on here. Okay, that does look like it's gonna be the case. And this is gonna be like night and day. The diff okay, so they're just, yeah, they're just guessing on what happened to. They don't exactly know. Yeah, now we have to fix it. There's no shot. Okay, okay, okay. Well, that's crazy. Yeah, okay, let's just skip ahead until it's actually fixed. Holy, holy. Bro, I think I'd lose my mind if that happened to me. It's the most common play in this deck imaginable. Bro, I, I've had I've had bad rulings before. I've had head judge rule something horrible before. I've had, actually, I've had head judges rule something bad twice. Two times. One time, it was just because he was literally friends with the guy, and he just let him cheat me, and I was like 13, and I was like, bro, what am I supposed to do? You're the head judge. And he's like, well, you know, he's a trusty, he's a, he's a trustworthy player. And then the other time, I was just like, that's not how it works. Please read the card again. Like, that's just not how it works. It says until the end of the turn. And they're like, no, I'm going to rule that it's forever. And I'm like, oh my God. Uh. But okay. Yeah, they're going to summon out low. Low can go bring out trap card. It looks like it's fixed now. Okay, yeah, it looks like it's fixed now. Uh, so they didn't moonlit the Skull Guardian. 
It's kind of crazy how we reversed back to the game state of chain link one, chain link two, but the opponent is now not forced to chain link three moonlit. Even though that's what they did before. Like that chain. Yeah, I don't I don't agree with that. Like the activations were legal. It's just how they resolved it was not proper. But I guess technically if a judge ruled that they couldn't activate low and then they tried to Yeah, okay, okay, that makes sense, makes sense. Never mind, never mind. Okay, activate barrier, barrier effect goes search, the ash blossom it, activate odd eyes, pendulum graph. Please go trap summon out, old man sage. Oh, they said end phase. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. End phase, bounce back, go search. Could've went trap summon out sage. That That's one interruption gone. That's one interruption gone. Okay, they're gonna go ahead and cut. But I mean, to be fair, to be fair, like, do you really expect, like, the best gameplay from round one at a regional? Like, nah, not really. Not really, I'm not gonna lie. Chain was chain link one guardian, chain link two mourner. They had to rewind it. Yeah. Yep. Well, yeah, it was because they ruled that they couldn't activate low, so then it was 1-2. But normal summon out Snake Eye Ash, Snake Eye Ash, Chain Link 1, Skull Guardian, Chain Link 2, shut that down. Okay, I mean, that's that's a good shutdown, but we don't... Oh my gosh, imagine, imagine. Okay, so they get to summon that. At least they didn't start with Wanted. If they went Wanted search Black Witch, I would have been so sick, because we could have Old Man tagged out into Sir Arvis and then stopped Black Witch. I kind of feel uh, voiceless bricks more than flu. Nah, that's that's kind of a wild statement. I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of a kind of a wild statement. Um, they're gonna go ahead. Original sun go summon. I, I, I guess you could say maybe they lose to like one hand trap more often than flu. Actually, I don't even think that's true because flu just naturally bricks more. So there's a lot of times where they don't even get to play. I don't know. I think voice, voiceless just isn't good because of the format that we're in. There's just like a lot of fire and there's a lot of people side decking bestials and stuff and bells. So it's like rough. But okay, they're gonna go ahead and summon oak. Oak target snake eye ash to chain DD Crow, so now it's a different card. So it won't get summoned out there. Now they're gonna activate trap card to put back ritual spell from hand to go ahead and summon out old man sage from deck. Which we think they would have done in response to the original so that way they could have brought out the Sararvis, like Oak Chain Link 1, Old Man Chain Link 2, DD Crow Chain Link 3 type play, you know? Say Kaka! God, yes. Or no, Baka! You gotta do Ba, 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 Naka! Uh, easy game for voiceless, just scoop. Nah, I don't even think this one's like, it's not over yet, it's not over yet. It depends. Wait. Oh, okay, they're shuffling. I, I thought they were searching for a second. I was like, are they trying to resolve it, like, original? It's not over yet. I mean, it's it's tough. But we played through Trap. We played through Skull Guardian. We played through Hand Trap. Okay, I was going to say, there's just one Sage left. It's definitely possible, especially if they were playing, like, the Fire King build. I guess... Yeah, no, it wouldn't matter, because they already went through original again. Yeah. When we're uh, actually, or interesting, I actually have a pretty good time playing Voiceless Voice because everyone at my locals is on Imperm, Valor, Nib, Mortar, and those cards are not good against me. Yeah, I think the non-engine is, like, fine. Like, Voiceless Voice can play through the non-engine, but the problem is, like, going second to, like, like, a player who's not dumb on Fire King Snake Eye, or Snake Eye. Like, if they set up, like, Savage Bear, it's going to be too much. Game one, you don't have enough, like, non-engine. If you play enough non-engine game one, then when you go first, the non-engine actually starts to hurt you. Oh, uh, like their non-engine will actually start to hurt you. But okay, game three, Snake Eye's gonna start with Wanted, go search out Black Witch, all right. I mean, you know, Wanted's always a good card to start with. That card literally says like, do the same thing as Black Witch, except also draw one. Uh, what's with the tic-tac-toe? Uh, I, I just got the tic-tac-toe tic going. Anyone, anyone can play it though. Watch, I'll, I'll do it right now. Let's see. Let's do TTT2. Yeah, there we go. So they're going to go summon Black Witch, send Black Witch. Go ahead, set original from the deck. All right. Uh, so there was no hand trap onto Black Witch. Again, they have Imperm Valor. They might just be saving it for Snake Eye Ash. Okay, original send. Like, if they start with, like, summon Black Witch, 
like without wanted then you like guarantee save it for like snake eye ash but if they start with wanted then you might do it before um but you could still i was gonna say you could still wait to stop you from getting punished by like a normal summon snake eye ash or poplar or hard drawn original a lot of punishes okay make link karibo normal summon out oak try to bring out ash from grave I see two ritual monsters and a ritual spell in their hand. Uh, yeah, so go ahead and bring out Ash. That's fine. I mean, they have Wanted draw. Kind of surprised they didn't do that before they went normal summon out Oak. Uh, yeah, I guess maybe they just want to Oak now. Send itself plus like Link Kribo, bring out Flame Burge. And then go into the IP summon back out too, and then Princess Flame Burge. Okay, yeah, they're just gonna go Snake Eye Ash, send itself plus Link Kribo. Sure, 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 that's fine, that's fine. Bring out Poplar, Poplar effect. Go search out the Divine Temple. Yeah, Divine Temple, go spell in Trap Zone. Yeah, that's fine. This is, yeah, this is actually just a better way to do it for sure, for sure. Uh, sorry, I was watching ads, didn't hear the explanation. Uh, the Tic Tac Toe is just there for the lulls. You know what I mean? Like, uh, if you're watching, you just want to play a little bit of Tic Tac Toe, you can play a little bit of Tic Tac Toe, you know? But, I mean, you should probably, uh, like, uh, the AI kind of, uh, the AI knew what was up with the play. It's probably going to be a tie. Crazy people don't play TG Fire at all. Uh, I mean, the, to be fair, the TG stuff's kind of like OD. It's just, like, not worth playing. Like, instead of that, like, you could just play Jet Synchron. Or you could just play no targets. Like, in the pure build. And just play, like, you know, just pure Snake Eye. No Synchro stuff, even. And they make IP. Spell and Traps on a Flame Burge. Okay, and then Oak plus IP up in the Princess, Princess effect, can special summon back out, but they have Flame Burge effect, the Spell and Trap Zone IP, okay. And then just summon back out, yeah, just any body from the graveyard, and they can link off, and then go up into, that's probably just Raging Phoenix, right? Yeah, I was gonna say, they are playing Pure, most probably will. Uh, deck is so good it only plays 10 bricks, uh, more than Fire King and you get to FTK. True, true, true. Like, honestly, I, 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 the, the TG stuff was cool. I remember watching uh, Bank1W play that on stream, but I don't know. It took, it took a lot of extra X space, which really wasn't worth it, but being able to FTK was like really cool. Uh, trying to make the music audio like perfect. Okay, but now they're gonna go want to draw at the end of the combo and then pass. Okay. So they draw into a barrier. So I know it's barrier, two ritual monsters, and ritual spell. That's what I could see. So they activate barrier and then barrier to go search. Okay. It, this is definitely like a breakable end board, you know. We don't have Fire King set up. We don't have Baron Savage. I mean, it's 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 a solid end board, but this is like the weakest end board that you're gonna get out of Snake Eye if they get the combo. Uh, Safira dead. Safira dead. Uh, why is that? Why would Safira be dead? They're gonna go normal summon out diviner. Okay, so that was the last card. And then summon effect, go dump. Uh, can't send up two ritual spell in hand. No, they, they don't have two ritual spell in hand. They just have one ritual spell in hand. But they're gonna uh, diviner chain link one, temple chain link two, go ahead and summon out IP. That's, I mean, that's fine. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to stop that. Oh, Chain Veiler onto Diviner. They do have Sir Arvis, though, which can just go ahead and shut that down. Oh, 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 oh. They have a Tierra's in here. Oh, okay, okay. The Punish. So the Special Summon out. They bring out IP. Diviner resolves to go ahead and dump. Uh, we could dump Entus or Herald of Arclight here. Uh, looks like they want to dump Entus. 
maybe trying to go after the set back row. Yeah, forcing out IP doesn't seem the greatest. You could just force out IP just by saying the word BP. Uh, is the first number like sub goal? Yeah, yeah, there's a, there's a sub goal and then like a follower goal. Did he just add Sir Harvest Ritual off barrier? Wait, did they grab? Oh, they did grab Sir Harvest Ritual off barrier. You're right. <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. They did do that. And does pop summon limit? Yeah, they're gonna go ahead, go for that effect of low. Yeah, that can go bring out trap card. Yeah, the opponent really doesn't know uh, voiceless voice. Kind of crazy. Oh, uh, they're thinking that they want to princess this maybe. I mean, they could go like princess chain link two, IP chain link three. I mean, you want to wipe something here. Okay, so they're gonna Sir Arvis the Princess. And then, yeah, IP is going to... Okay, they went IP effect, and now they're gonna go Chain Flame Burge to summon out Flame Burge. Now they used the wrong Flame Burge there. Yeah, they probably should have used the Flame Burge that they had just brought out off the other Flame Burge to link off, because, like, this deck actually, you know, can play Anima decent amount of the list do uh we get to summon the sp next to the world c which can help make it to where it's like you know not gonna get destroyed by a battle very easily uh there's also nine minutes left so time can definitely start to come up here soon uh what regional is this this is a uk regional i, I don't know like the name of it but it's a uk one so yeah they're gonna bring out trap and then sp goes ahead and banishes the low and then flame bridge resolves summons out poplar oak world championship qualifier uk yeah, yeah something like that something like that I, I don't know the city name or if there even is a city name i, I don't know I, I don't know how uk works but they're gonna go poplar go search out original and then Oak gets to add back Snake Eye Ash, so has good follow up. Uh, isn't it the UK Open? It is the UK Open. That yeah, that is the name. Yeah, that, that is the name. That is the name. But it's just a regional. Opens are just regionals with better prizing for top eight. I'm pretty certain. But it's crazy because. Uh, I know the other one, the French one, I'm pretty sure it only had like 200 players in it. It's kind of crazy how they get like a French Open, but it has 200 players. Like that's smaller than like the smallest regionals in like the US get. Like even if, yeah, you gotta go to like, like some random, random, random state. I know like, I think Iowa hits right around those numbers. Uh, playing around Curry Kara instead of Anima. Nah, they're nah, they're not thinking about Curry Kara. <laughs> that that card is not real because they also just played into it extremely heavy there. If they were trying to play around it, but okay, yeah, they're gonna go ahead and then okay, so SP banished Flame Burge plus Tierras in response to the ritual spell. Okay. So then they got rid of low from hand and now they're going to go skull guardian one low two. So looks like they want to go ask the judge something, maybe how much time is left. Okay. They're going to failure the skull guardian. So they get to go ahead. Yeah. Special summon back out from the graveyard. Now they can say battle phase because if they world see effect, oh, never mind because skull guardian is negated. That won't work. I guess they can just anima take the SP and they already used SP effect and then World C won't be calling so that that can out it. Said TTT broke. It's not working. But yeah, they could they could do that. They could anima, they could go into Dino Mondo. They could go, okay, they're gonna go Link Karibo. 
And then Poplar on the Flame Bridge. Is this end phase? Or maybe, maybe this is battle phase. And they just are okay. Yeah, yeah. World C is going to go ahead, pop low, plus trap. That is rough that we actually entered battle phase and allowed World C to do that. Now we just attack into anything. Link Karibo is going to drop it down to zero. And then, yeah, that's game. Uh, end phase to get Flame Birds back onto their field. Yeah, that was just played horribly. I'm not going to lie. That was played horribly. Uh, Tiros doesn't come back. It was banished off its own effect. It's like World Sea banishing a flu monster. It won't come back. But it won't it won't change anything there. They just have uh, a couple blanks on their field. They're gonna go Flame Birch, Spell and Trap Zone, the Skull Guardian. Yeah. And then let's see, four minutes left. Uh they could just say battle. That's already game on field. Yeah. All right, looks like they went World Sea Effect to banish and then bring back. Okay, sure. And then they can Princess Pop. Sure, sure, sure. That's good. Isn't this game? Yeah, it's already game on field. They're just, uh, I guess, playing it out there. And then Raging Phoenix summon gang attacks. I don't even think Voiceless has any cards in hand. Yeah, so that that that's just game. That's just game. That's just game. Okay, so going on to the next round now. We'll go ahead, skip ahead, and guess that card. 